Hey guys, what's up? I have a Sam's Club haul. If you stop talking, okay, so we got bounty full size seat, full, holy heck, full size sheets, very expensive. I would just get the regular, you know, the cheapest, but anyways, so we got those. We got a chicken down there because I'm going to make chicken special. If you guys want to know what it is, hit me up, let me know. I got my family member, the cherry mixed fruit. I got these Gatorades. You get fruit punch. What was it? Orange and lemon, lemon lime. lime. Yes. And then under there, well, I'll tell you that in a minute. Because somebody doesn't want me to do this video. And then Del Monte, he acts like we're on a time limit. 12 diced peaches. No, we're not. 12 mixed fruit cups. No, cans. I got this for my anxiety. I almost busted it open in the store. I got the um, Dixie 12 ounce cups. They have these, y'all. And this, this thing, look how nice and thin it is. But this turns into a crate. And I was going to go to the Dollar General and get, um, oh, you know those QB things? Oh, shut up. No, to, to play with the, the paper cups while I'm talking about this. Um, he's getting on my nerves, y'all, and I've had a very bad day. Um, these are by Cle um, Clever Made. They were like six something, I think. But anyway, they turned into crates. I, now I wish I would have got this color, but anyway. Um, you're not going to be able to see it in my room. But I want to put my foldable Dollar Tree. But yeah, they fold out like that, if you guys can see, which is really cool. Okay, my family member loves these tomatoes. And, you know, we grow them. And these are really, really good. So if you see these, I think they're like 6 or $4. And you get all these tomatoes. I am running out of air. Okay, I got this Bubble Fruit Del Monte Peach Strawberry Lemonade. It's got um, popping boba. So if anybody has tried this and you like it or don't like it, please let me know before I open it up. Because that was kind of, I don't know how much. I don't know how much hardly... I got my Kathy's little bowls to put his food in, you know, because we don't believe in washing dishes. And then my family member, one of these five ounce cups. And then this is like my fifth or sixth new anxiety medicine that probably isn't going to work worth a damn. I already said the rotisserie chicken, Jane Fonda. Mm-hmm. You wish, pancake. So anyway... Um, that is our haul. Um, I'm actually feeling a little bit better because when I, when we were on the way here, I was feeling like death, like straight up death, like just not feeling good at all. So look at Eric's messy vehicle. Just ignore it. He'll blame it on me. Oh crap. I'm sitting, I'm sitting on something and I'm sure this person wanted to love to uh now this fool is gonna act like he wouldn't iron up the Reese cups either you know what i'm saying oh let me show you guys since eric like whacked me with it they have these in um the dollar tree i got like how many of these i did i get six so, I don't know what I got them for. They're awesome to hold things, and they can stack as long as you don't, you know, fill it as high. I can't believe I did all that in three minutes and something. Well, four now. But anyway, this just whacked me in the sh uh, shoulder. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, I'm pooped. I walked around the whole store. Um, I only went in there to get my medication. Eric has already been in here and picked up orange juice, and dang it, I wanted to show my friend CJ the pictures of where they store the orange juice and where the table is sitting. Actually, I was going to do a video. Um, but anyway, but I just, you know, these are at the Dollar Tree. They come in the clear or like the frosted looking. And then these are, they have them in the black. So they're almost sold out at my dollar store. But anyway, guys, so that is it. That is all she wrote and a bucket of chicken nuggets. But um, you know what? I'll just go ahead and tell you. So basically the chicken special, basically what you can do is you can take and get a, um, you can buy like the chicken pieces and cook them and then get one of them long, you know, like 
um, like rectangle pans. We use like the Pyrex and you know, it's about like that high and you, you shred your chicken. I just, you know, shred it with my hand. You know, y'all might, might have like them fancy, uh, you know, things that shred and do things, but I use the tools that God gave me, which is my fingers and hands. And, um, please don't drive because I'm gonna tell you to go somewhere and you're gonna poop a brick. So, um, but anyways, I'm trying to tell them to, the recipe. Okay, so you, you know, you cook chicken. What I do is I cheat. I ain't going to spend time cooking no daggone chicken. I go in here. I buy a rotisserie chicken. I shred all what I want. I put it, you know, as, as thick as I want it. You know, I put a layer. I make sure that all I see is chicken. You know, I don't see the glass of the dish. Then you can take and cook a white is that what it's called? Like a white onion, you can chop that up in a green pepper and chop it up and have it soft. And then you sprinkle that on top. That part is optional, okay? And I'm so lazy now that I skip that because it's too long to cook an onion, you know, an onion diced up and the um, the pepper. So we've, we, you know, skip that. So then you take your um, whatever kind of like spaghetti sauce. What do we usually get? The ragu or is it the other one? Mm-hmm. it's like in a small Charles. like a small and we get the traditional and because it's so nice and like small size you know not like the regular size i can pour that all over who is she looking for i don't know she's looking for somebody you know pour that all over and then um i layer it with probably i don't know if it's about four cups of um mozzarella cheese and i pour that all over it and is that about it yeah and then i think it's about 350 maybe and then for maybe like 15 minutes basically until the cheese is melted you know when you're when your cheese on the top is all nice and melted you know then you're good to go man something must have happened up in here i don't know because you got a guy you got him that come out Oh, he's oh, he just pretending to look for something. But anyway, so when your cheese is all nice and melted, and then you can um, usually what you do is like, I like, I've tried brown rice. I'm not a big fan. I know it's healthier. I like the white rice and you get your white rice and you put your white rice or brown rice. You know, maybe you want to put it on noodles, you know, whatever. But we put it on white rice and, um, you know, get our rice take you a scoop of it plop it on and omg it is amazing and it's like like i said it's not a lot of prep time if you know how to tear you know tear apart a chicken and you know and shred it and put it in the thing throw your sauce put the cheese put it in the oven for 15 minutes sometimes um what eric says 17 you know like i said like a couple extra minutes and and then you know your rice we use that minute rice the minute made is it minute made minute something The minute rice, um, minute made, (laughs) the minute rice. And then sometimes we even cheat even more and get like the cups of rice and, you know, throw them in for a minute or whatever. And then we each have our own cup and just plop it on a plate, throw some chicken special. And I'm telling y'all it is good. And I have had it for where, you know, it's in my container and I've had it like left over for like three days. And by the third day, it's just like pizza. It just tastes better. You know, and then probably by the third day, you're kind of tired of it. So, which is what happens in my house. Um, Like I can have it for dinner and then maybe the next day I'll have it for lunch. I might not have it for dinner. And then the next day I'll have it, you know, for lunch or dinner or whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. But that's what I think we're going to have tonight is um, chicken special, either that. And then another good thing that y'all, you know, you probably should know is to get some of those Bob Evans mashed potatoes. Apparently somebody needs some quick meals. That's why I feel like telling y'all, I just get me a loaf of bread. I don't do that keto mess. I ain't trying to get all up in that, even though I love meat. I'm not saying all kinds of meat because some of my people in my family love because I'm crazy. My grandfather could eat some crazy. He'd eat muskrats. Like, well, what the heck, dude? Like, seriously? Anyways, um, but the man could eat some meat. Apparently my granny could too. You know, if they if they brought her a raccoon, she'd cook it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, heavens. Anyway, sorry, y'all. But, um, okay, so back to the bread. Um, I take me some bread. I take some, you know, the rotisserie chicken or turkey, you know, whatever you have. 
put it on the bread, put some um, mashed potatoes and gravy and another piece of bread if you want. I know fattening, right? And then plop some gravy and, and, and put that sucker in the microwave. You know, oh, get you some pickles. Oh, I'm hungry. And, and that's, that's another fast meal, you know? Look how fast that scooter is going. Oh my gosh, he is going so slow. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so I'm going to get off of here and go. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Um, hope you guys have a great, what is it, Thursday? Wednesday. Oh, shoot, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. If it's Thursday, I'll be uh, late for Oh, it. have a great Wednesday, y'all. And um, if you guys can pray for me, because I'm having a heck of a time. Yesterday, I had an okay day. You know, I felt way better than I do today. And today, I just want to go to... I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the pediatric place. I want to go wherever, you know, they can tell me, you know, what is wrong with me. You know, it's like in the center of my chest, heart palpitations. They're, they're not a lot, but, you know, it's just very, very aggravating to be me right now. So nobody wants to be in my shoes. Um, and my poor friend, CJ, I love you, girl. She has been, her and Sonia have just been amazing um, and Sharon, you know, listening to me bitch and complain, you know, they, they deserve a medal. And I don't know if I'm forgetting somebody else. Mm -hmm. Um, what? So on that note, <laughs> and, um, I think Heather too, y'all have been amazing, but the other, the other two have heard more. <laughs> then um they probably want to hear um hopefully one day i'm not going to be broken anymore i just feel broken it's really hard and difficult but i'm going to go for somebody thinks i'm recording them and and they're going to get on my nerves but um so that was it that was my sam's club haul um it is amazing though if you have trouble with your medicines because like this medicine i got i don't know how many pills she gave me but um it was like 12 dollars, and they when you have like the higher card um, you know, you get like 40 or something percent off. So it's really been a blessing, you know, to me since of no, like, well, I don't think you have medical, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I've never had a good job that has, you know, good benefits and stuff like that. Never in my life. None of them have had any benefits. So, yep, that's working in childcare unless you have a great place. But anyways, so I'm going to go before I have to delete my video before I say something stupid. And, um, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I wonder if them two together, because he's acting like he wants to get away from him. She's acting like she wants to get away from him. Okay. Oh, my heavens. They just all happy, happy people. All right, y'all. I'm just what people watching. Um, <clears throat> But I'm going to go, because now I'm running out of saliva. And, um, hope you guys have a great day. Um, you know, thank you in advance if I, if I already asked you if you guys could pray for me and pray for my family member because, you know, especially in March, March is going to be, oh, I'm not even, I'm dreading March like a toothache, but, um, look at him. I should have put him on camera. His little sexy legs look like Santa Claus in shorts, got the beard and everything. Oh, and that guy looks like, where's Waldo? <laughs> But Waldo doesn't wear a, a blue and um, yellow striped shirt. Okay, this is fun. Okay, guys, apparently my battery is going, so I'm going to go. It's been fun, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, bye.